If you've got the day off in Florida, it's not uncommon to hit the links for a round of golf. And while you may get a sinking feeling when you see your first drive go into the water hazard, there's one guy who couldn't be happier with your shabby shot making. Hey, you looking for this? Hey, you're Jeffrey Blime, well-known golf ball diver. Yes, I am. How are you today? <laughs> you do this for a living, right? Yes, I do. Full time. And how long you been doing it? Almost 30 years. I'll go to these courses maybe every uh, six, eight weeks, and I can average 5,000 balls a day. They just keep hitting them in. A lot of bad golf. You're basically profiting from others' misery, aren't you? Every day. I don't mind it. How deep are these things, these ponds? I dive one course in Orlando that's 53 foot. Other than that, I average about 15 to 20 feet. And what is the visibility like? Uh, I'm pretty lucky on this one. Um, I'd say it's six foot. Generally speaking, it's what they call black water, and, and, and I'm just seeing with my hands. What are you dealing with besides murkiness down there? Weeds. Get caught in the weeds is very dangerous. We lost a diver almost two years ago in the weeds uh, where she had run out of air. Uh, alligators, lots of alligators. Have you encountered any? I've been bit twice. As soon as they bite me, they let go. That's the good part. You must not taste very good. No, I don't. Are you competing for golf balls with the gators? There was one down in Miami that died, and they opened them up, and I think they counted 62 golf balls. <laughs> and the gator, yeah. What are the other dangers to doing this? Snakes. Uh, a lot of snakes. You know, I was with another diver. We came out, and I looked at him, and I said, man, you got leeches all over your face. And he says, well, you do too. <laughs> and not a good day. What's the strangest thing you found under under the water here? Loaded gun. I found a lady's left-handed purple bowling ball at a golf course. That's the weirdest. I probably average a club a day. Really, people just tossing clubs at They get mad. Um, I find a lot of putters, especially around the 18th hole, if there's water and lots of wedges. So you can sell this too, right? Sure, sure, we sell clubs all the time. It's a real racket you got going here, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Are there some balls that are more valuable than others? Yeah, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to mention a name, but it starts with a T and it ends with a T. The color ones do well. And, uh, and there's a lot of people collect logo balls too. So what does a Titleist go for when you resell? Um, the nice ones go for 20 bucks a dozen. Am I right to hear that the, the golf course itself gets a kickback from you? Oh, sure, sure, sure. You gotta pay to play. What happens to the balls after you pull them out? Where do they go? They'll go to a warehouse um, and they'll get washed, they'll get sorted, they'll get graded, they'll get packaged, and they get shipped all over the world. We do about eight million balls a year. What's the morning's take? Well, just in that little pond, there's 300 balls, and the next time they get hit, could be in Ireland, could be in the Bahamas. Jeffrey, can you spot me a few balls for the rest of my round? Sure, no problem. I'll get them back. 